here we are. It is Vlogmas Day 14, and I'm super excited. Hi, I'm Shane of The Wealth Vibe, and I create videos to help you eliminate debt, grow your income, and build wealth. And today, we are doing something that is going to hopefully bring in massive amount of money for me and my boyfriend. We are recording his course today. This has been in the works for months, and I'm so excited that the day is here. So we are about to record his course today. He has been working on scripting the content for his course on real estate wholesale investing. And so we are about to start recording the video lessons that go for each of the modules. There are nine modules in the course and about four to six video lessons in each module. And so we have a lot of recording to do, but we're gonna be recording over the course of a few days. And so I'm gonna show you the behind the scenes process on how we're going to set up and start recording for that today. So let's go. Okay, first things first, I need to actually clear off this table that has all of our laundry on it so that we can start to set up for um, recording. We're gonna be recording this little dining room space that we have here. So I need to hang up all these clothes, fold them and stuff like that so that we can actually get to the setup. So the next thing that I'm going to do in preparation for this course is I'm going to get a logo design for his course specifically. So recently we got a logo design for his business, Draft A Real Estate, but now we need a logo for the course. And so we're going to use the same person who did the logo for the business and we're going to have them create the logo for the course. And I've been working with this person via Fiverr. And they've been really good actually so far. After the logo for the course is created, I want to get the logo animated. The logo animation will be similar to how you see my logo animated at the beginning of my videos. And what that will do is just add some visual interest to be the beginning of his video lessons. So I'm about to, I've already paid for the logo design for the course but I need to actually send the specs we had a conversation about it before but I want to make sure that's all in one um, one document rather than in a conversation flow so I'm gonna go on Fiverr and um, send him the details about this So now that I've submitted that order for the logo, I'm gonna show you what we have so far, um, where we started at. So this was the original logo for the business overall. And then the new logo is this. It's a lot more simplified, minimal, and modern. So this is the logo and we're hoping for a course logo. Um, I'm going to show you an example. So these are some course logos that um, are from Pat Flynn's business, the Smart Passive Income business. And so um, we're using his logos as inspiration for what our course logo will be like. And then once the logo is created, we'll get it animated um, and then we will use the animated logo in the video lessons. So now that that's done, I'm going to start preparing the, the set. So we're gonna move all this stuff here and things off the wall and then move them into the living room and then take all the things that we need for the set and bring them over here. And then I'm gonna go over all the equipment that we're using. Thank you. 
So after 40 minutes of ironing, I think I uh, did a pretty good job. Got most of the wrinkles out. So now we're about to hang it before it gets wrinkled <laughs> again. So this is all the equipment that we are going to be using to film. So these are softbox filters that go on LED light panels. I have three LED light panels that we're probably going to be using. One to separate him from the background. So it's going to go behind the chair. And then we're going to have probably one in front and then one on the side. And we're going to use this to kind of diffuse the light. Then this is a teleprompter. It's the Parrot um, Padcaster teleprompter. You use it with your cell phone. And basically this is going to allow him to read everything from the script word for word without fumbling as much as he probably may have without a script. Yeah, yeah don't fight the confidence in me. Huh? This is a Lacey external hard drive. It is a five terabyte external hard drive that also has the USB-C um, connection that works well on our MacBooks. Then we have our sound. So this is a microphone. It's a professional shotgun microphone by Sennheiser. And then we need the cord that connects the microphone to the camera. And then this is the shock mount that we'll use to connect it to the boom pole arm here. So then we have our camera. This is obviously one of the important things. This is a Lumix G7 Panasonic 4K recording camera. It has a Sigma 1835 millimeter lens on it. And that's pretty much it. We also have, I guess, our, our tripod here too. So I'm gonna get started with setting up everything. We already kind of have all our props in place. We're probably gonna switch out this table here but we pretty much have everything in place so that we can start recording in a few minutes We have a 256 gigabyte memory card that is really important to have, especially with this camera because it records in 4K. So this will give us a good amount of space, not all the space we need, especially because we're recording a lot of lessons for this course. So we'll probably have to um, take the information off of here and put it onto the external hard drive and do it a few times, but this will get us a good amount of recording time. So, I'm going to insert that in here. And then we also have a, um, a continuous source of power. So, here it is here. It's an adapter that you put in. And this will give you continuous power. You don't have to charge up the battery. You plug it into the wall and you have continuous power. And therefore, we won't have to worry about having to stop and recharge batteries or change batteries through the recording. The only thing that we'll have to do is just change out or to remove the, the data off of the memory card while we're recording. So this is really good. So I'm going to go ahead and close this up and then put this on the tripod. So I did my part. Everything is set up here in the studio. So this is the final setup. We have 
the desk here, a wingback chair, a side table with some real estate books and money books, a money tree, and then we also have a wallpaper backdrop. And then in terms of like technical equipment, we have a three-point lighting system with LED lights. So one light, this is the second light, which will be the key light. And then that's the third light here. I need to switch that around. This one has a softbox diffuser on it. Ideally, I would like to have both of them have it on there. However, I only bought one. I thought the pack came with two. So keep that in mind if you are using the links that we have down below. Then we have our microphone here. It is mounted in a shock absorber mount. And then it is connected using an adapter here to attach it to the boom pole arm. And this is a weighted boom pole stand. However, we added additional weight just to make sure that it's balanced. And then we have our camera here. This is the Lumix G7 camera by Panasonic. It has a Sigma 1835 millimeter lens on it. And then we'll be attaching the Parrot teleprompter onto it. This is an adapter that's sitting on the front of it. And it is on a Mount Dog tripod. So that's the entire setup. And so we'll begin filming in a few short minutes. So where is the talent? Where is the talent? Where is the talent? I'm trying to figure out where the talent is. Talent, what are you doing? So we did a trial run. Thanks to me. Yes, thanks to you. Um, we did a trial run and we found that there's an issue with the mic. Apparently the- With mic, what? The mic. Okay, I mean I'm the mic, but <clears throat> the accessory. Anyway, so um, the issue is that the, I guess the adapter that you use to plug the external mic into the camera has to be a 2.5 millimeter, but we have a 3.5 millimeter. So we're about to go to Best Buy and see if we can pick up an adapter. And if not, we have to order one. Hopefully we find one. And then wait to record. <sighs> So we just walked into Walmart and we was like, why is there so many police cars out here? And then we end up talking to the, you know, the guy that stands out there for the Salvation Army, right? That's what it is. Mm -hmm. Collecting money during you the holidays. Gave somebody, maybe you know. Anyway. Goodness, ain't been nowhere. <laughs> anyway, so he's told us that there was an active shooter in here. In Columbus. Active shooter. But apparently they got him. But this is crazy. Apparently, do you not know where they so we just walk so, I don't really know. I was about to turn back, but you kept walking. That's because by any means necessary. <laughs> we will record. Although somebody got the wrong. I'm, oh. playing. <laughs> I'm playing, but I love you. Oh, oh, what do we have here? So they did not have the adapter that we needed at Best Buy, so that's why we're in Walmart now. What about this? So it Oh no, it's a specific cord. So I got more police coming? I'm out here ding 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 and then when that little fuck let you come out run. Just try to go. She said run, I just kill him on the stand. Yeah, yeah. Y'all yeah. be safe, man. I'm still very good. Thank you, you too. Hello everyone, my name is Michael Johnson, and this, this is the course that you need. I'm telling you guys, if you just believe. Listen, let me tell you a story. That's all I got. So after doing all that running around, trying to find another cord, we realized, well I realized, so did some research, that the cord is correct. However, the microphone needs a battery because the camera that we have does not provide phantom power meaning that some cameras are able to power like electronics on them on their own. This one doesn't have that capability. Some other cameras do. 
So since it doesn't, it needs a battery. Put the battery in and we're good to go. But we done lost two and a half hours <laughs> of recording time. Another great reason to find buyers first is because they tell you where they buy and what a good deal is to them. For example, where I live in Columbus, Georgia, a lot of buyers I meet give me their criteria and say, I only purchase properties north of Macon Road, or I only purchase in these three subdivisions, and they must be three bed, two bath properties. Boom. Just like that, you've narrowed your search and found where the good deals are. Ugh. Boom. Just like that, you've narrowed... Can I, can I start at boom? Yeah, but I think you need to be a little bit more. Like, boom. Boom. Okay. Boom. Just like that, you've narrowed your search and found where the good deals are. I didn't really like the double hand. Okay. I just want to do it all over again. All right. Another great reason to find buyers first is because they tell you to help cover the costs associated with putting on the events. Simply type into the Google search bar, RIA or Real Estate Investor Meetup, in the city you're in, and more than like, uh, something happened. What happened? Mm -hmm. Siri, shut up! Bro. <laughs> yeah, even yeah. You know what we gotta deal with? Can you swipe up from this side? Okay, never mind. We'll be back in action. Golly! I'm so tired. This is long. So let's get it done. It's now after midnight, and we've been recording all day. These videos so far, we've been able to get through three modules, which I'm really excited about. We only have that's about two thirds of the way through of the course, but it's after midnight, so we're still recording. We got one more lesson to record, but that's it for Vlogmas Day 15. I think today's day 15, <laughs> but I appreciate you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.